You are about to witness the very exciting story of a city and its people. It is a story of a city seeking new horizons in a resolute contest with great challenges. That city is Detroit. One, two, three, now! We're bankrupt. The children's schools suck. There's no work here. And all the dudes that are responsible for this probably had steak in Bordeaux for lunch. Welcome to Crime Town, produced in partnership with Gimlet Media. I'm Mark Smerling. Each season, we examine crime and corruption in a different city. And this season, we're heading to Detroit. Law and order have broken down in Detroit, Michigan. Black people learn how to talk back to white people in Detroit and not be afraid. The number one biggest game is when the king number famous is like a rich at the top because they want to be boss. They don't care who they step on as long as they get along. Politicians in my eyes. You've probably heard that Detroit has a lot of crime. So we're going to bring you stories from the people who've actually lived it. This city teach you one thing for sure. You always need a hustle. If you don't, it's going to blow up in your fucking face. He throws a, a bag on the table, just like that. I say, what's that, sugar? Flour? He say, no, that's dope. Just like last season, you'll hear from the criminals. Bloom! Shot me right through the head, came out right here. Just missed my brain. And the cops. Nobody was summarily executed, because that's something you couldn't justify and some unsung heroes. I don't half-step nothing. When I tell you I'm going to get you, (laughs) take it to the bank. You lie under oath, you go to jail. He says, nope, God is on my side. I said, Mr. Mayor, I do not often speak for God, but God is not on your side. All right, thank you. So I'm going to just talk, because that's what I do best. Finally, we'll tell you about a mayor who promised to turn the city around, Kwame Kilpatrick. It's time for all of us to rise up and begin our future right here, right now. (laughs) So how did that lead us to jail? (laughs) $500 spa visits. Rock star style entourages. A stripper who later wound up dead. I saw... People walking around with shirts that said, put Kwame in jail. You would not have seen a black person with that shirt on. In a city divided by race, things aren't always black and white. All the crackers and all the racists used him to justify their own prejudices. So he used the race card as a shield. Vindication. That's what we seek. Total vindication for Kwame Malik Kilpatrick. And we'll be hearing straight from the source. This call is from Kwame Kilpatrick. An inmate at a federal prison to accept dial five now. Hey, Kwame. Hey, John. How you doing? I'm okay, man. I'm so glad you called. I was getting a little worried, but uh, I figured you'd pull through. Crime Town Season 2, coming October 1st, exclusively on Spotify. Subscribe for free at Spotify.com slash Crime Town or on the Spotify app.